Hi, it's Paul from HowToNetwork.com. If you haven't heard of me or don't know anything about me, I don't blame you, I'm not famous, but I've written several IT certification books, the Cisco, uh, well, the 101 Labs books are the latest ones that cover CompTIA and Cisco exams and IP subnetting, and there's a few on Cisco CCNA, and also one of the new ones uh, just down here on IP subnetting, Zero to Guru, which is on Amazon. If you want to just watch the video, it's free on YouTube, IP subnetting from Zero to Guru. I uh, used to work for Cisco Attack in the UK. I live in Australia now, and um, I've been teaching IT and working on IT networks since around uh, the year 2000. I was teaching from 2002. So, um, written the books, I've told you that. I started knowing nothing, so I hope you've got some inspiration, because... <laughs> um, I, I literally knew nothing and had to start from zero. If you want to check out my websites, the links are below. There's some coupons for howtonetwork.com and 101labs.net. Um, it really helps if you can um, subscribe to the channel. Most people who watch the videos don't. I've got maybe a thousand hours of free certification videos and career training that will help you when you come to take exams and get a, a well-paying job in IT. So this is important. The title is uh, questions that are asking every CCNA exam. Um, I've no idea what questions you're going to be asked. So uh, these are the general types of questions. So when I did, uh, I did a law degree part time. And if I looked at all the exam papers over the last few years, um, you could look at past papers. I think you could buy them or, or download them or whatever. You would see question type um, A, question type B and question type C appear regularly because if it's a certain subject, for example, um, IPv6, there's only so many things you can ask and generally it'll be the same type of questions. Forget about um, routing, etc. What's in the packet? How do you compress it? How many um, values are in it for hexadecimal? That kind of thing. So these come up over and over again. And if you learn these type of questions, then it's going to help you quickly get through the exam. Now, telling people what the actual questions are is a breach of the Cisco um, non-disclosure agreement. Uh, I think there's some websites out there for brain dumps, but I don't uh, recommend you use them. So here's the first type of question. You've got to match the ports to the numbers and um, services. So this is usually a drag and drop. So they'll have a load of lists of all these ports and you've got to drag these bits over here and then over here. So down here it would say 53 and you would have to drag it up to here so it actually meets the right thing. Sometimes they'll say, is it UDP or TCP? So you need to learn that as well. And sometimes it's a trick question like um, DNS would be UDP and if it doesn't work, then it would use TCP. So you need to know that um, when you read your theory book. So that's the first type of questions, matching protocols or services to port numbers. So you need to learn that. I didn't put it in here as well, but administrative distances is a common one. The other one is write an access list. Now, when I say write an access list, you could actually have to log on. You are tested using live Cisco iOS. I guarantee it because Cisco announced it. So don't believe anyone that says there's no labs anymore. So you would log on to a router or switch. You'll be able to type all the commands you can on live equipment because it's the actual iOS running on a, a Linux box. Yeah, so it's like a virtual router. So You'll either configure it um, with a question or configure it on here. Standard or extended or named, sorry. Fix one. So it says um, X, Y, Z and something isn't working. So you need to check this access list, configure it. So, so you have to configure some bit and then you will test it by um, trying to reach the other device. Or edit. So it's got lines one, two, three, four and five. This line's incorrect and you know needs to be able to edit an access list. So you can do that. Uh, and, and as I said, you can test it using ports or whatever. So that's the general syntax. Subnetting. So uh, this is at least 10% of your final mark. I guarantee it. And this is why I failed in the year 2000, I think it was. Um, I failed and because I didn't understand subnetting. I thought I did, but then I just got asked lots of questions and got confused. 
But uh, take heart that I actually wrote a book. So as I said, if I can do it, anyone can. Must know this really well. So which subnet is a hosting? It will come up with an IP address of, I'll, I'll just say one, two, three, four. And it'll say, which subnet is this hosting? And you'll obviously have a, a subnet address. And um, so you need to know that. Uh, route summarization. So you've got um, a list of like 10 different um, IP addresses or subnets. You need to summarize that. So only one is advertised out to the internet. Variable and subnet masking. Uh, design a network addressing scheme. This is what is actually a picture from one of my books. Um, IP subnet in zero to guru, I think it is. You've got to you've got a main network here, and they basically saying you can subnet that down into smaller chunks to get 25 hosts, 20, 20, and obviously your WAN connection here, which would normally just need two hosts. On oh, troubleshoot, so you'll have a question, and it'll say, "This is your uh, subnet address or host address. It can't reach the um, internet. What's wrong?" <laughs> and, you, and you need to know, um, and which which is the IP address for the host subnet and broadcast. So again, these are all common. So if you want a book to help you, IP subnetting from zero to guru. The links in the description. That's on Amazon. Uh, it's pretty cheap. Um, if you if you know subnetting, we need to drill it. There's 101 Labs IP subnetting book on Amazon. Uh, next is Spanning Tree Protocol, or STP for short. It's in the exam. It's hard, but again, you can learn it. Just do a few labs and read the theory. So work out the route and designated ports. So you will be given a network like this. It could be an actual network or, or a drawing, and you will have to work out that's designated, that's designated, that's root, that's blocking, need to know that, so there's no traffic coming this way, root, um, root port. So if you don't know what I mean, don't worry, it'll be covered in a good quality Cisco CCNA book. Uh, and then you must lab it up, because you can have a lab on this. So troubleshoot STP, configure a root bridge, so it will say, um, for example, this is the root, uh, what we want you to do is configure this one to be the root, bridge and there's a couple of ways of doing that ip routing uh, understand the show ip route command so you would you would see an output or have to com or, or have to put it on a router and you would need to work out what the output actually means all these lines your administrative distance and the and default gateway that kind of thing work out changes to um, the mac address and ip address so a packet leaves this um router uh, it leaves this gateway and goes to this router. What is the in the fields? So um, source and destination for your um, IP address, source and destination for your Mac. Um, do these fields change? And if they do, what are they changing to in this diagram? When it leaves this router, what is the source IP and Mac a destination? And then finally, when it gets here. So you need to know the process of how packets are routed. Again, covered in good quality CCNA books. Administrative distances for ERGRP, OSPF, RIP, etc. Preferred routes. You've got uh, these routes in the routing table. Which one is the router going to actually uh, choose? Static and default routing. Network address translation or NAT is an absolute exam favorite. Configure it troubleshoot it um, port address translation which is NAT overload um, NAT or a NAT pool which is a, a pool of addresses from like 1 to 100 that can be allocated also they will test you on the inside local outside local inside and outside global address you need to know the definitions and it might show you a table IPv6 is a hot exam topic and uh, the address types uh, the RS and RA packet types and how do you uh, compress an IPv6 uh, address it will have this whole address and it will say you know what is your choice for compressing and there could be um, two or more choices of correct answers maybe subnetting IPv6 and the it will show you a packet and ask you what are the fields inside the IPv6 packet 
uh, EUI you're addressing as well. So you need to know how the MAC address is inserted into the IPv6 address. Again, all covered in your CCNA book if you've got a good one or video course. Securing your switch ports, AAA, radius and TACAX, what are the commands? Which one's open source? What ports do they use? Um, protecting switch ports, uh, this is apart from port security. So making sure nobody changes the VLAN or becomes the STP route. Prevent VLAN changes, as I said. Types of hacking as well. There's a whole bunch of like shoulder surfing and uh, denial of service, distributed denial of service, all that kind of stuff. So you have to learn that and do labs whenever you can. Log into um, Packet Trace is okay. It's not great. Um, there's GNS3 or live equipment, which is on um, howtonetwork.com. Wi-Fi, you need to know all your boring IEEE standards, the security types. So um, I don't know if they still ask about WEP, but WEP, WPA, 2, 3, etc. What's the difference? Um, quality of service types, WAN roaming, wireless LAN controller. I think you need to know how to configure these, but you've got a packet tracer, which offers a lot of stuff. And then um, somehow, I don't know how you'll do it, but um, for Quas, unfortunately, you can't configure that on Packet Tracer. Um, so you could get a cheap wireless LAN controller from Cisco on eBay. Um, just get an old second-hand one or just look up the documentation if you don't want to do that. You've got to look at the different um, Quas types. I think it's silver, gold and um, something else, maybe platinum. So you need to know all that. Um, Cisco Discovery Protocol, Link Layer Discovery Protocol. These are just exam favourites. They're easy marks. Um, you can um, configure it between two switches or routers. So exam favourites. Configure it. Troubleshoot it. Why isn't it working? Know your show commands for both. Show CDP, show LLDP. How do you disable it um, just on the port? And how do you disable it on the entire device? Almost always a question like that comes up. And then syslog. Obviously, there's loads of stuff in the syllabus. Loads and loads and loads of stuff. But this type of stuff tends to come up over and over. So syslog is the logging levels and configuration. So it will say, um, what is, um, say, emergencies. I can't remember off the top of my head. I think the levels go from 0 to 8. You know, put a comment if I got that wrong. But each level will have a different name. So one would be logging, uh, etc. So it's just a case of drilling that and also knowing your show and configuration commands. So that these are the main things. As I said, there's a big, big, long syllabus. But if you know this, you can quickly answer the marks, save yourself a lot of time and then move on to something that might be a bit tougher. So um, there's a link in the description for my lab site, 101labs.net is labs only. So if you've got your theory good, but your hands-on isn't great, and I guarantee you will be tested. I, I guarantee, because like I said, Cisco, I've said you've got to be tested, and they know best. If you want to check out a theory course, a video course, then uh, come to howtonetwork.com. And then if you want to actually get a coupon, it's forward slash YouTube. It's $1 for 30 days. There's... 35 courses with more coming for CompTIA, Cisco, Linux, uh, Python, loads. So just check out the menu. Unlimited practice exams. There's loads and loads of those included for members. We've got live Cisco racks 24-7. Not only are they live, we show you how to um, log in from home to all of the routers, switches. Um, there's eight devices on each rack, four routers, four switch, and there's two racks running 24 seven and you just log in with the timetable but we show you how to do all that expert support on the forum for me and other students who've passed and other people who are trying to study uh, career coaching exam exam strategy support also so that's pretty much all i've got to say any questions drop a comment and i uh, i log in most days and uh, do my best to answer if i don't know the answer then i will tell you and um, i will tell you where i think you can find it so um, we'll get all get there together. Please, if you haven't already, um, if you don't want to do any of that, subscribe and hit the bell because um, I've got 
I don't know, hundreds, maybe a thousand hours of free training in on YouTube and I've got more stuff to come out and, um, you know, I hope it helps. So uh, that's all for now. I will see you on the next video and best of luck with your exam.